Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will build a cheap, basic and a simple line follower robot without using any microcontrollers like Arduino. You don't need any coding skills to make this one. Just some basic electronics knowledge is enough. So let's get started. In the previous videos for the Robotics for Beginners series, we covered the basics of robotics, sensors and motors and much much more. If you have any doubts watching this video, be sure to check out the previous videos in the playlist first. So, let's take a look at the components needed. We will need a robot chassis, two IR sensor modules, L29-3D or l 29 motor driver ICs or modules, two DC motors, wheels, and a 9V battery. The first step is to build a chassis for our robot. You can design it however you like but make sure it has enough space for the motor driver, the battery and the DC motor. You can use foam board, aluminium sheet or wood to build the base. So what exactly is a line follower? A line follower robot is an autonomous robot designed to detect and follow a predefined path, usually a black or white line on a contrasting surface. It uses sensors such as infrared or IR sensors or color sensors to continuously scan the line and adjust its movement accordingly. Our line follower robot will follow a black line on a white background, okay? So it needs a way to see the line and decide whether to continue straight or turn if it starts to drift off course. For this, we will use an IR sensor or an infrared sensor. The IR sensor consists of two main parts, the IR transmitter or an IR LED, and an IR receiver that will detect the reflected IR rays from the IR transmitter. When the IR rays hit a surface, some are reflected back depending on the surface color. Brighter surfaces reflect more IR rays. Darker surfaces absorb most of the IR rays, reflecting very little. The IR receiver detects these reflected rays. Depending on the received IR intensity, the resistance of the receiver varies, which in turn affect the output voltage. This allows the robot to determine the brightness of the surface, making it easy to track the line. Now that we have the information about the path, we need to move the robot along it by driving the motors attached to the chassis. For this, we will use an s bridge circuit, which is a switching circuit made with BJT or field effect transistors like MOSFETs or MESFETs. The HPIT circuit allows us to apply voltage across DC motor without making any physical hardware changes. For this reason, it is widely used in robotics for switching motor direction, generating square waves for motor control. If you want to understand how DC motor works and how L2 and 3D motor drivers work, check out this video where we explain everything in detail. We will use either the L2 and 3D or L2 and 8 and motor driver IC for this project. You will also find more explained tutorial for this motor driver IC in the link above. For this project, we will use an L2 and 8 and based motor driver module to drive the motors in our line follower robot. Now that we understand the basics, let's assemble the robot, build the chassis, and fix the DC motors on both sides. I'll be using a four wheel chassis where Two wheels are connected to the motors and two wheels are dummy wheels for support. Now, let's take a look at the circuit. This is Altium guys, this is where I draw the circuit. Altium is a PCB designing tool that can be used to create simple PCBs for hobby projects or complex multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. It's easy to create our own PCBs using Altium and if you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you're gonna love it. An Altium subscription includes Altium 365 which lets you design, share and manufacture our projects in one place. Secure centralized cloud storage allows us to share the designs and ideas with teammates or clients. You can even collaborate on your circuit with friends and share real-time feedback. You can download and install the trial version from the link in the description below. Make sure you check it out. In the breadboard, first I will be connecting a 7805 voltage regulator IC and this will be converting the 9V from the 9V battery to a steady 5V DC power supply. Now, for the IR sensor, V in of the IR sensors will be connected to 5V and the ground will be connected to the negative terminal of the battery or the ground of the 7805 voltage regulator. 
the digital output pin of IR sensor 1 will be connected to the enable pin of motor driver 1 and digital output pin of IR sensor 2 will be connected to the enable pin of motor driver 2. For the L2918 motor driver connections, VCC1 will be connected to 5V and VCC2 will be connected to 12V and the ground will be connected to the ground. Now for the signal pins, S1 of motor 1 and S1 of motor 2 will be connected to 5V and S2 of motor 1 and S2 of motor 2 will be connected to the ground. So basically with this setup what we are doing is when the enable pin of any of the motor is set to 1 or 5V that motor will be rotating in one direction. Also guys if you are truly into electronics and PCB check out Altium Student Lab and you can get free access to Altium Designer and Altium 365 to work with your friends and earn a certificate recognized by top industries in India. You can use your university or school email to start for free. You can try that as well for free by clicking the link in the description below. The output of the IR sensor will determine whether the motor should rotate or not. And that depends on the surface color. If the surface color is white, it will be turning on the motor. If the surface color is black, it will be turning off the motor. Fix the IR sensor modules on both sides of the chassis, ensuring they point towards the ground. Once all the connections are done, power up the robot and place it on a white surface with a black line. Adjust the sensitivity of the IR sensor to fine tune the detection. Your line follower robot without microcontroller should now start following the line automatically. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. And if you like this video, make sure you give this video a like. And for more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.